I um, wanted to make a sort of history for my channel and not just my channel but my history of playing balloons and I had this dumbass name which is what the video will be called it's a I play balloons and I think it's a well deserved title I do play balloons I have nearing up 500 hours on the game obviously it's not my most in one game I'm I'm a Rocket League player at uh, the core, but I do play balloons. And I've kind of always played balloons out of most of the games I play, but if you told me five years ago that I'd have a YouTube channel around balloons, and one day this channel won't be solely balloons, but for now, um, growing, I always think there's no point in me not making balloons content. I mean, it's what you guys want. And it's not like I don't want to do it either. I mean, you should always make what you enjoy. And I couldn't ever make uh, videos on the game that I played the most. So Rocket League was off the table. And then there's other videos and I'm kind of a mixed game player. But I didn't, I didn't want to have a mixed game. And then when my friends started playing Balloons. And then recording and uploading it. I was like, why couldn't I do that? I mean, it was a game I loved. Um... I'm a very creative person, I love making things from uh, anything, art, music, and then this was video, I, I edited for someone beforehand. But I think it was about time that I ventured on my own journey. But we have to remember that this isn't the main part of the video. The video is to explain my history of balloons, and that will be the first part. Back in primary school uh years that's one to six or for americans i think it's grade two to seven possibly i loved playing flash games anything from addicting games mini clip what's the other one uh war games i loved playing flash games and i mean balloons at that time it was it wasn't an unknown flash game, it was quite a big one. I think it was a BCD3. I kind of have a fuzzy memory on 4. I've played it again recently and it kind of cleared up some things. I have played 4, but my first one was 3. But that's all it was at that time. It was a game. It was a small uh, flash game that I played. Some of my other friends played. I enjoyed. And that was it. And then I got BCD5 as an app on my tablet i had a bad little tablet whatever you get as a child when i was in it would have been a year after the game came out 2015 or something whatever it is 2014 i got btd5 and that was a massive step up and that's when i really started playing the game but i never played it properly i was never good at the game i never spent time trying to be good i did what I needed to do, you know, beat the challenges, played different maps, upgraded the towers. That was fun. And the game was really fun. I love tower defense games. I can't actually name another tower defense game that good. There was quite a few phone ones. Um, there's a computer games that are tower defense. I won't go into any names, but I do love tower defense. And BC85 was... Well, it was the best tower defense game, and nowadays you're seeing that it really might be the best tower defense game or series ever. But I don't upload BTD5 or BTD4 or 3, I upload BTD6. And the summer BTD6 came out, I had it on my phone. Um, and I didn't like it at first. The heroes were a bit, there was only four of them, and they were quite a different concept, and you had to figure out which cross path you wanted. Uh, tier 5s meant you had to grind for XP in a, quite a lot longer. The game became much more complex, and because I'd never mastered BTD5, it was like mastering BTD5, and then you had to master BTD6. I've played BTD5 since, and it is a much, much more simple game. Many more maps, though. However, I really did 
start to enjoy the game until co-op was kind of bad because I like to play it with friends. I mean, it's a great friend playing game. And it sucked. And I kind of just sat on my phone. I'd play it every now and then until a, a week before my channel was made. I had a friend which got BCD6. Both my friends played BCD6, but one of them started uploading videos on BCD6. And I mean, I loved BCD6. I thought, why couldn't I do the same? And there was no reason I couldn't do the same, but I didn't have the persistency and the drive. I think at the start, I had that new fresh feeling. I always wanted to do some YouTube or at least give it a shot. And I had that drive. I was uploading every day, but it was these bad videos and you'll never see them. You don't even try. Um, actually, I think some of them are deleted. My earliest, earliest are deleted. And then my next stage after that are uh, unlisted. So I started uploading around my birthday when I turned 18. I'm currently 19. It's about a year and a half on. And none of my videos did well until my tutorial series. And I think it was kind of like a booster, but I love my tutorials. I love making the best tutorial. But I don't love editing over and over again the same thing. It ruins the creativity that I really do enjoy. So yes, I could be I could be so much bigger now if I made every single tutorial and it was all clean and done and precise and I cracked out five videos a day. But that's not the person I am and unfortunately I wish I was. I'd have a whole lot more subscribers and views right now. But when it hit March of this year, I hit a thousand subs of the videos I made. And that's when it kind of comes, kind of becomes serious. I don't use serious in a bad way. Um, I really enjoyed it. Maybe, uh, maybe too much. I feel, feel like I made one stream, but I didn't upload, but it was like a certain making money from your videos is very exciting and it shows that all the hard work you put in maybe leads to something and I still don't make that much money now but I still do make money and you kind of think about a video in terms of money and views in terms of money and numbers and it's really is a thing that you get into and it's not a bad thing necessarily but it's something to be careful of but when I finished my uni term my first uni term in May I kind of realized that I could do what I wanted in my four months over the summer. But I didn't know what I wanted yet and I didn't have videos that I was proud of. And I think the reason of making this video, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching by the way. The reason I made this video is because now is the point I'm happy with the content I'm making. I have a community around me. Um, and I want to take it to the next level. I think trying to get consistent uploads, even if they're less frequent, and not just making three videos in a day, uploading them one after the other, but sticking to a schedule that makes those three videos last a bit longer. And then consistency. There are other YouTubers with they upload way more than me, and rightfully so, they deserve to have more views and get more attention. But I'm glad that anyone watching this, especially up to this point, enjoys my videos and likes what I'm doing. And I can only thank you for that. So um, each and every one of you that's still here at this point, uh, I don't know, comment, just comment bananas, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm really not creative. And I'll know that you watched it till the end. Thanks for watching. There'll be a few updates soon. And peace.